Hey, Snickers, back in the house, back in the house, back in the house. I'm back in my house. In my house. Okay. Today we're back with not package manager updates available, but with Manjaro 2202. 2023, maybe. Hmm. Okay, this is the XSCE version. I didn't do it on purpose. Yes, I just clicked whatever one was in, come up first, and that was a one. Okay, normally I do these in the box installed. Unfortunately, installing Manjaro in the box at the moment is a bit unstable. Yeah, I know. Very, very unusual. I have my Manjaro running on two laptops, and they're just super. But if this is the way it's going, I won't upgrade the latest one to my last laptop, because I use it for like emergency purposes. Like when everything else breaks, there's something that's always working that I go to. But we'll go through it with you just really, really quickly. Manjaro, Arch-based, but not so much anymore. It has its own repos, but you can use the Arch repos as well. The Manjaro repos are normally a bit more stable, as far as I'm f I've found, and they tend to work, and the machine don't go bang, okay, like other stuff used to do. Yeah, Arch, you just, you know what I'm talking about. Click that one button, and boom, there she goes, as Scree Pretty said. You know what I'm saying? If you know Scree Pretty, you know what I'm saying. Anyway, a really, really quick look tonight, because I'm not in the mood of doing videos. I've got a game to play. It's free to play for three days on Steam. You'll know what it is if you go to Steam. Anyway, when you first boot up in the system, it gives you this, okay? Read me, release info, wiki, installation, launch installer, mailing, blah, 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 blah. If you've never done it before, please read it all. It will give you all the information that you need to install Manjaro. And once it is installed... If you can, it probably install all right on hardware. I thought it's installed with the open source drivers. Maybe that's the reason I should have gone with the other stuff, you know. But hey, these things happen. So it's basic XFCE. Can we change our desktops? Of course you can. We'll go to settings. We'll wait for it to boot a little bit. Remember, it's running live. Yeah, there's some nice desktops here. There's some nice backgrounds. I prefer to use my own nowadays, so, you know. You know, it's like, yeah. So we'll just go with, that looks all right. We'll go with that one. Ooh, it's a bit red. That's really nice, isn't it? I like it. Okay, what do you get with the basic Manjaro? I'm going to show you. Right, okay, before I go to the main menu on the left-hand side, on the bottom bar, if you right-click, you can get there here, as you can see. You can run your program, terminal, file, mail, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to do the same over here, on the main menu button. But this one, you get a nice little XFC accent shall we say this one's used in the dark menu you can change it to whatever one you want to it's very very configurable as it's xfce and this one runs really nice okay so under system what do we get add remove software now i'm going to open it up just so you can see but i'm not going to think oh look you want to update them or do you want to install them they're the ones it wants but you can do stuff here. So your repositories are here. You can have the core, extra community, and multi-lib. It's all entirely up to you. Remember, when you're using this sort of system, you've got to think about what you're doing, okay? Because one wrong move, and <laughs> exit. Back to installation. Sometimes you may be able to recover. Other times you won't be able to recover, okay? Anyway, enough of that. Enough of doom and gloom. I'm, I'm fed up with doom and gloom. It's too much doom and gloom in the world, isn't there? Okay. Oh, the manage printing. Will it connect to my printer? Let's just see. Okay. Oh, it crashed. We got Firefox. Okay. Oh, oh, that's not good, is it? Maybe that's one of the reasons why the system won't install. I got it to install once, and then when I went to reboot, that was the end of that. It went, no, nah, I'm not doing it, Dad. No, nah, not happening. So Smudge the Computer Cat come over, had a look, and he went, that's going to cost you a couple of snacks, Dad. And I went, oh, I'm not paying. And so he walked away. Yeah. So under settings, we get the usual XSE stuff. If you like XSE, you're going to love it. It comes with all the stuff you want. Under other, we get a snapper, okay, for your snapshots. Office, you get only Office here. You can install LibreOffice if you want to. You can install whatever you want to. Remember, it's Linux. You can do whatever you want to. It's your own system. You have to pay. The only thing you have to pay with is in time. Your time to set your system up as you want it. 
This is the thing. Under internet, Firefox is your browser of choice. But obviously, it doesn't want to be my browser of choice today because it didn't want to launch. Okay. Under graphics, we do dig in, Pidge. Yeah. That's all you get under graphics. Let's have a look. So, we, we, well, it's nice and quick. Bear in mind, I've only given it two cores here, guys. That's fine. I'm really, really happy with that. What about you? What do you think? Let's check the version. Blah, 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 about 2.10.32. Be an art space. It should be quite recent anyway, shouldn't it? Uh, what else can I show you? Not much, really. Um, after that little hiccup on installing, I can't give it my, say, go and give it an install. I'm going to give it a couple of days, see if there's another release, just in case, okay? Just in case it was me, or it's just the box. I've got another laptop here I can use, just try it on, just to check it out, really. Oh, in multimedia, another one I want to show you. Audacious is your music player. Obviously, you get Pulse Audio for your volume stuff. That will all be changing very soon, as you all know. VLC does the job, an XF firm for your DVDs and CDs. Now, I know some of you say, oh, what's a CD and DVD? They're still viable today, guys. Trust me. If you're a music lover, you'll understand what I'm saying. And you can use this system to do digital stuff to your digital stuff. Okay. On the whole, if it installed, I would have given it a year, go and give it a try. But at the moment, until that bit's sorted, I can't do that. Really, really unfortunate. I, mean, I really do love Manjaro. I've got it on other stuff that's usable today. What a pity. Sneaky Linux out. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.